Hi guys, my name is Ellie. Welcome to my channel. Today we are doing day 13 of the Shop My Stash Advent Calendar and we have a lipstick. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in Rosewood and it is what's on my lips today. Um, I really, really like this. A, it's an easy to pair color. It's, it's red without being too bright. It's obviously a lipstick but also not like too bad. Um, I had took some coming around to lipsticks and acknowledging that I wanted to draw my lips back onto my face. Uh, just like blush and highlight and all of that, I had to adjust to the fact that I wanted to do that and then expand from there. Uh, and one of the things that came up for me was that the liquid to matte lipsticks were the big trend when I was starting to get back into um, makeup and testing it out and deciding what I did and didn't like in the makeup options. And the liquid to matte lipsticks are extremely uncomfortable. I, mm, mm, mm. they're just so uncomfortable. They don't work for me. Uh, I tried a couple of them and I found one or two that like work for like half a day. But the way I do my face most of the time is I'm going to work. I'm putting it on my face at seven in the morning and it has to last or be maintainable all the way until 5 p.m. And if I don't you know, go right home after that. It has to handle going out on a date, going to run errands, meeting friends after work, stuff like that. It has to survive. And it has to be something that I don't want to rip my lips off at the end of the day. And liquid to matte lipsticks weren't for me. So since the community as a whole was so focused on liquid to matte lipsticks and no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, we hadn't come back around to glosses yet. Glosses are starting to come back, which is fantastic for me and my lips that need moisture. Um, something like this coming out where it allowed a lot of the similar effect, a lot of the long wearing capabilities of a matte lipstick without being horribly uncomfortable. Because I, I put a lip balm on while I'm doing the rest of my face and I put my lipstick on last as the last of the balms kind of sinking into my skin. So it does have a little bit of extra moisture protection. But um, this lipstick itself is actually one that I wore the majority of the month of January when I started my new job and I didn't know what makeup I could and couldn't wear. I knew this was an acceptable lip color. I knew it wore pretty well. It didn't fade funny. Uh, it didn't transfer and it wasn't likely to like, just keep bleeding further and further outside my lip line. Um, and it was, since this is a bullet formula, something I can wipe off, eat my lunch and put back on because um, liquid to matte lipsticks did not survive lunch and they didn't reapply very well, at least the ones I was using. So. This is a great in-between choice for me. So I can have something that I don't really have to worry about throughout most of the day. I don't have to think about whether I've eaten it off, whether it's shifted inside onto my teeth, um, if it's likely to just keep sliding or anything. I can put it on, I can work, and then um, I can t also take it off pretty easily for lunch. And when I do reapply over it, it doesn't clump or anything like that. It works really well. And I know a lot of you who have more makeup experience or more lipstick history um, are kind of thinking, well, that sounds like most bullet lipsticks. But it was an astounding surprise thing for me to do that and to find a lipstick color that I liked that both worked, f in my opinion, for cool and warm looks that could just be my standard, I don't know what I'm wearing, we grab this. So this lipstick color and formula works really, really well for me. Um, the rest of the line has some very interesting colors as well. I've since picked up other ones um, that are fantastic. But the fact that they can do both the really wearable ones, the very cool nudes, um, the very out there colors. Like I have one that's like a, like a teal, like a bright turquoisey teal in the same formula and the variety of that line was a big draw for me that I could find something because they'll, they'll do you know buy one get one lipsticks or they'll get percentages off and okay if I want to get this much in my cart for this shipping which is not a good mentality but if you know that's what you're gonna do and you're looking for stuff being able to pick out you know one lipstick that you can wear day in day out to work over and over and over again and then like a fun weekend lipstick that's a color or something that you're not as confident wearing every single day I like having those in the same formula and finding a formula that you like and having those color options within the formula. Normally you get either a lot of 
unnatural colors or a lot of neutral colors, but having them in the same line was really cool for me. So, I've probably gushed enough about a lipstick for, what, five minutes straight? Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like on my lips. Um, it wears really well. It's really comfortable. It's held up. I think this is like a year and a half old. And I have this much left. Ooh, the light's nice. So yeah, I think it's a very versatile color. I think the formula is quite nice. It works very well for me. And I'm glad to see some variety coming back. We're not just all doing liquid to matte because good God, did I hate those. I had one or two. One or two that like, if you wanted to wear it out, like just for drinks. So put it on, don't eat anything. And then just have like a couple drinks while you're out at the bar or whatever. You'd be fine. But you can also do that with a regular lipstick. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Also, leave your favorite uh, lipstick formulas down below so we can potentially find some other ones that are fun like this.